This is a McKibben air muscle. It's an air powered actuator that extends and retracts. And today I will be showing you how to make one. Now there are a few tutorials on making these already, but a lot of them are more complicated than they really need to be. This method that I'll be showing was inspired by the Soft Robotics Toolkit, which I will have a link to down below. First, you'll need the parts. You'll need a balloon, and it has to be the kind for balloon twisting, like making balloon animals. You'll also need some 1 8 inch tubing, 1 half inch braided sleeving, and a nylon insert lock nut. I'll have the links to all of these in the description. The only tools you will need is a lighter, a pair of scissors, and a syringe or pump to inflate the air muscle once you're done. Start by cutting the braided sleeving to be about three inches longer than your balloon. Then take the piece of mesh and put the lock nut on the end of it so the fraying edges are scrunched together. Take the lighter and hold the flame to the fraying edges until it melts into a blob. Let it cool for a bit and then take the bolt the nut off. Now on the other side, start feeding the balloon into the sleeving. The technique for this is hard to describe, so just follow the footage. Once the balloon is fully into the sleeving, feed the tubing into the balloon. Then on the side that was melted, slide on the lock nut. Slide the lock nut down until it is where the balloon meets the tubing. Then twist the lock nut onto the tubing. Don't be afraid to use some force when doing this. After that, you can connect the tubing to a syringe or pump, and you can use your new McKibben air muscle. I made this video because I've been making a lot of these air muscles lately. Why you ask? Well, that's for a future video. Also, this will be the uh, last video that I'll be making for the next few weeks as I will be on vacation. Sorry, but when I get back, I'll try and speed up the video process. Anyways, you make the choice to like or dislike this video depending on what you thought of it.